Kadem's Game Ready Pipeline allows you to create fully optimized, textured, and rigged assets. These assets are highly customizable and ready to be implemented into a game directly from the Kadem platform. To get started, log into your account and head over to the Create page. Here you'll see two types of Game Ready assets Game Ready and Game Ready with Rig. The difference between these two is that one includes the rigging step, which is a great option if you'd like to animate your models later on. We suggest using Game Ready with Rig for characters and vehicles. Next, upload your concept art. You can add up to six images, and we recommend adding multiple views of the same character or object. You'll see that the backgrounds will automatically be removed after they're uploaded. If you are generating clothes, hair, or accessories, you can use the base model feature to make sure your assets are to scale. Here, you can upload a model of a character or whatever model you'll be adding your generated asset to. After you've added all your images, you can then go through the settings for each stage. Your assets will go through every stage as long as they are checked. If you'd like to skip a step, you can simply uncheck the box next to that stage. You can open the dropdown under each stage to customize its settings. Under High Poly Geometry, you can set the max poly count for the High Poly Sculpt. The High Poly Geometry will be used to bake normals onto the optimized geometry during the texturing stage. Under Asset Pose, you can choose to have your character be modeled in an A pose, T pose, or the pose it is in in your uploaded image. We recommend an A or T pose for rigged assets. The next stage, which is the optimized geometry, lets you specify the target try count. This will determine the optimization level of your LOD0. You can then choose to allow tries or use strictly quads. We recommend allowing tries if you'll be importing the final asset into your game directly. If you're planning to make any adjustments, we recommend quads. You can also choose to require watertight meshes or allow non-manifold meshes for further optimization. Next, you can choose whether or not to have separate meshes. We recommend disabling this if you'd like to implement this asset into your game directly for further optimization. The next stage is UV unwrapping. You can choose a preset if you've set one up with us or choose the Kadem default. You can then note the number of UVs and UDIMs if needed. In the texture dropdown, you can choose the texture style, maps, resolution, and how you'd like your textures to be exported. Reach out to us if you'd like to use your own texture library for your generations. In the rigging stage, you can choose between the Kadem default rig, or if you've set one up with us, your rig template. You can also choose to check or uncheck for facial rig and add a description for how you'd like your asset to be rigged. Next, you can configure your LOD settings. LODs create lower poly count versions of your asset. You can either choose a number value or percentage and add or delete rows as you wish. The current limit for LOD versions is three. You can then add any art or technical specifications to further customize your output. Once you've finished the settings, you can choose to save this configuration for future generations. The save configuration will be found under the custom tab in the create page after you click generate. Finally, you can add tags to better organize your assets in the assets page. Once everything is set, you can then click generate. Your asset will start processing and you'll be directed back to the assets page. Under status, you'll be able to see live updates for your assets. Assets are either marked processing, for review, failed, or complete. If you'd like to cancel your generation, simply click the ellipses next to the processing asset. Here, the high poly geometry is finished processing and is marked for review. You'll be able to inspect the finished stage using the 3D viewers. Each asset will have two 3D viewers, where you can inspect and compare the different versions of your model. On the top left, you'll see details about your model, such as the number of objects, aka separate meshes, edges, vertices, faces, and tries. On the top right, you'll see buttons to expand the viewer, view settings, dimensions, and wireframe. 
You can also view the rig and the UV map once you've finished the rigging and texturing stages. On the bottom left, you can toggle Enable Selection, which lets you click on the separate meshes of your model and see its details on the top left. Next, you can request revisions, upload your own version, or simply approve to the next stage, which is the optimized geometry. These options will be available at every stage of the pipeline. Before approving a step, you can view the settings or edit the settings for the next stage. You can also edit tags here. Once you click Approve Geometry, a countdown will appear. You can choose to click Wait if you'd like to edit the settings further. Otherwise, your asset will automatically start processing after the countdown. Here you can see the optimized geometry has finished processing. This model has a lower poly count, which is beneficial for ensuring smooth gameplay. If you'd like to make edits on your model outside of Kadem, you can update your model in its current stage with Upload Version. This opens an upload box on the left where you can upload an FBX file of up to 50 MB. Once you've uploaded and submitted your model, a new version will be added to your asset's current stage. This feature lets you step in at any stage of the pipeline if you'd prefer to make edits yourself in your preferred modeling software. Here you can see that the optimized geometry has a lower poly count than the high poly geometry. You can compare them side by side using the 3D viewers. Here you can see the first iteration of the textured asset. You can click the open box icon on the top right to view the different texture and normal maps of your asset. To request a revision, click Request Revision or the Screenshot button on the top right of the 3D viewer. After taking a screenshot, the Request Revision modal will open and your screenshot will be added to the list of images on the left panel. On the left, you can upload additional images or annotate existing ones. To take more screenshots, use the 3D viewer on the right to rotate and zoom in on your model and click the screenshot button. Next, add details on how you'd like your model to be revised using the text box on the bottom right. Once you've submitted your revision, your asset will start processing an updated version of your model. You can see that the texturing stage has been revised and the color of the robe has been changed. Once you're satisfied with this stage, you can go ahead and approve the model to the next stage, which is rigging. Here you'll see the rigging step. You can click on the Show Rig button on the top right of the 3D viewer to see your rig. You can also save this version of your asset and open it in your preferred 3D program to further inspect the rig. Once you're happy with your rig and have approved the stage, your LODs will be generated. This is the last step of the pipeline. Here you can see that the different LOD versions are added into one scene. You can select each mesh to see their try count on the top left. Once the LODs are approved, your asset will be marked complete. You can download any version of your asset within the pipeline or you can download the final asset once it's gone through all the stages. Our current available formats are OBJ, OBJ pre-modifiers, FBX, GLB, GLTF, USD, and MTL. Thank you for watching Kadem's Game Ready demo. If you'd like to gain access to this feature, please get in touch with us using the link below.